By any standards, let alone for a national level Formula 3 team, the University of Wolverhampton Racing Team has an impressive range of resources at its disposal. At its School of Engineering in Telford, the so-called birthplace of industry, students can gain experience using the very latest in manufacturing technologies, benefiting from the university's partnership with the Manufacturing Technologies Association and in turn enhancing the performance of its Dallara F308, which competes in the MSVR's F3 Cup series for older machinery. We're thrilled to be working with the Manufacturing Technologies Association because of their 100 year history of working in the manufacturing world. Uh, having that one stop shop that takes us to see so many other people, um, regardless of where they are in the supply chain, is massive. I mean, whether it's informing our um, lecturers as to what goes into a degree programme, to getting students to have industrial placements, or uh, being able to work with the um, Manufacturing Technology Association on their industry standards so that we are fully aware of how the wider world is working and where our place can be in it. For a race team to function properly, they need manufacturing technology to be able to, to uh, essentially make the cars and, and modify the cars. Essentially, the manufacturing technology sector underpins any sort of sector, whether that be aerospace, motorsport, um, uh, I guess marine, to even the, you know, the phone in uh, your pocket. The, you know, the, all those, those goods essentially are, are designed on our members' equipment, manufactured on our, our members' equipment. The university's racing arm has developed significantly in recent years under the leadership of Principal Lecturer Dave Tucker. In addition to its F3 Cup programme, the university also runs Morgans and enters a team in the nationwide Formula Student Competition every year, where students are encouraged to use its full range of F1 standard equipment to develop their skills in CFD design, wind tunnel work, metrology and manufacturing all the while weighing up key decisions on the cost versus performance properties of components which will be vital skills to have mastered by the time they reach industry. The Institute has an incredible ability to manufacture. Uh, what it didn't have was a purpose for manufacture. So effectively what you see here with the race team, uh, the reason I, I started it really was to give an outlet for all the manufacturing we do. We have a lot of different fabrication machines, anywhere from lathes all the way to our big CNC machines. The good thing about it is we get to learn about them, get some real hands-on experience so that wherever we do go in our futures, we will already have everything we'd need to be able to go forwards. So they're all really high-spec new machines that would be seen in industry and it's all available for students to learn and use. Everyone's working on them and really enthusiastic about getting hands-on and actually learning by doing, which really inspired me to come here and do something more than just learning in a classroom. We're really just pushing to do the best we can. Some students base their final year projects on the Formula 3 front wing, using CAD software to create new components, and then develop it using CFD. The students are proud of their work and finding new ways to innovate. This is uh, a component that we make in-house. It's a, it's a structural component to, uh, to deer the front wing to the, uh, to the nose of the car. And the idea would be that uh, once impact is taken onto the front of the car, it would absorb all the impact and break away quite instantly. It can't be too strong. It can't, in fact, absorb all this impact that may, may occur during racing. And, um, it really needs to, to break away and take that impact away from the car as much as possible. Some people are quite intimidated by the idea of going to a manufacturing company and reaching out to these contacts, but having everything in-house just means that we're only a few steps away from achieving brilliance, really. I feel like with the manufacturing processes here, it's completely capable for all of us, all of us students, to, to really come up with new designs, new ideas, and to push these boundaries, these rules and regulations, right to the very limits, as you would find in the likes of Formula One. A lot of universities do a lot of motorsport related activities. I think it's completely unmatched. Everything you might know is soon improved and you have to learn again and learn again. It's a big commitment for a student. As soon as you're in the F3 team, I think you, 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 your standard personally comes up, you can see the professionalism of it already. Everyone's um, outlook on the whole thing changes and they've seen it on the racetrack and this is now serious and, and this is what we've been working for. The students want to win and winning together and winning as a team. I'd like to see us get on the podium as often as possible but realistically I'd love to win the championship. 
It's just making sure the car is at a level we can do that. We'll always put all the work in until the job's completely done. But the final goal ultimately goes beyond winning. There's a lot of people that have gone straight into industry. I go into places like Rolls-Royce and Mercedes F1, which is, um, in my, my idea, of, is that's the real end game for any of us, is, is to be at the pinnacle of motorsport and to take on what we've learned in-house and just walk straight into industry.